This video is intended to enhance the quality of the partnership between individuals and families accessing care and their healthcare providers in a digital era. It presents general guiding principles to achieve patient and family-centered care when integrating an electronic medical record system into the health professional's daily practice, regardless of the sector or healthcare setting. Good morning, Mary. My name is Lisa. I'm one of the nurses here in Emerge. I'll be doing your initial assessment before the doctor comes in to see you. Good morning. What brings you to the hospital today, Mary? I tripped over the cat as I was rushing out the door to meet with my daughter, Tanya. I wanted to see her before she left for the airport. My arm hit the floor when I fell. I don't think it's broken, but it's swollen and very painful. Which arm is it? My right arm. It hurt so bad I, I couldn't drive. I had to ask my neighbor for a ride to the hospital. Mary, could you hold that thought for one moment? I just can't seem to log into the system. Ugh, these computers never work. I don't know if I'll ever get used to this new system. Okay, Mary, I'm logged in now. Um, I'm sorry about that. What were you saying about the cat? I said I tripped over the cat this morning when I was rushing out the door to meet my daughter. I hit my arm on the floor when I fell. I don't think it's broken, but it's swollen and very painful. When do you think the doctor will examine my arm? I've been waiting for two hours. The doctor will be in as soon as I finish recording your history. Um, which arm did you hit? My right arm. And it hurt so bad I couldn't drive. I, I had to ask my neighbor for a ride to the hospital. Did you do anything to relieve the pain, Mary? Yes, I took two pain pills and I applied ice to my arm. <sighs> I don't believe this. The computer is frozen. I don't think I'll be able to save your information. I'm going to have to step out and call our IT support. I'm really sorry about this, Mary. I can't believe they'd make me sit here for almost three hours to see the doctor. I wonder what that nurse was writing on the computer. I hope the doctor gets here quickly. I want to go home. Mary's experience highlights three common mistakes that healthcare providers make when interacting with patients or their families while using an electronic medical record. They fail to explain the purpose of the computer and what is being recorded. They focus more on the computer than on the person or family. And they complain about the computer in front of the person or family. Now, let's take a look at best practices with another scenario Mary finds herself in. We'll be having our conference in here, ladies. Please have a seat. Mary, as I mentioned before, my name is Janet. I'm one of the nurses here at Maple Tree Retirement. We always meet with our residents and their families when they first arrive so that we can get to know each other better. Is this your daughter, Tanya? Yes, this is Tanya. Well, it's so nice to meet you. Mary, are you okay with us discussing your medical information in front of your daughter, Tanya? Oh yes, it's fine. Okay, great. In today's meeting, we will review your medical history and together we will identify a few goals you can work on to improve your health. How does that sound, Mary? That sounds good. I really do want to improve my health. I'm not as steady on my legs as I used to be. My doctor says I have diabetes and I have this ulcer on my right ankle that is not healing very well. I know my children are worried about me. That's why they suggested that I come here. Well, that's an excellent goal. We can definitely work together to help you manage your diabetes. The first guiding principle is greet and connect. Always greet the person and or their family and establish a therapeutic relationship with them before accessing the computer. Mary, I'll be using several tools throughout this session to help us identify the goals you'd like to work on to improve your health. One of those tools is this computer. The second guiding principle is to ensure that the person or family member recognizes the computer as one of your resources to assist in providing care. Adjust the position of the screen for optimal viewing by the person or family. The computer should not be between you and the person to whom you are speaking. If this isn't possible, reduce the barrier by lowering the computer, enabling you to make eye contact. 
Do you use computers often? No, I don't trust them, to be honest. I heard on the news that they can steal your information from the computer and assume your identity. I don't really think computers are safe. Well, I've heard some of those stories on the news as well. But the computers that we use here at Maple Tree are very safe. Our IT staff has installed many protective features that ensure that we not only meet but exceed the legal requirements that are in place to maintain the privacy and confidentiality of your personal health information. For example, anyone wishing to access your information must have a valid user ID and password. And that's what I did a few minutes ago. I logged into your electronic medical record with my user ID and password. And when we finish today, I'll save the information that I've changed, close and log out of your record. So no one will be able to access your information unless they have a user ID and password from our IT department. And Mary, that includes family members as well. No one will be able to access your information without your consent. The third guiding principle is to reassure their privacy and confidentiality. Inform the person or family member of the measures that are in place in your organization to maintain the privacy and confidentiality of their electronic medical record. Do you have any other concerns about the safety of your electronic medical record? No, it sounds like Maple Tree has done everything it can to safeguard my personal information. You're right, we have done everything we can. And now that your record is open, let's review your medical history so that we can identify the goals we'd like to work on to improve your health. I see here in your medical record that you've had this ulcer on your right ankle for three weeks. Yes, that's correct. It started as a tiny blister and it burst and now it's a big sore. The doctor said it's related to my diabetes. He said my ankle was rubbing on the inside of my shoe that caused the blister. I hope it will heal soon. What do you think? Establish a connection between the person and or family and their electronic medical record by using terms such as your medical record or your chart as you interact with the computer. Engage in dialogue with the person as you view or update their record. Use key phrases such as, I'm reading the doctor's notes from your record or I see from your record that you have made great progress or I'm recording details about the goals we've discussed today. Well, Mary, it is true that diabetes affects your circulation, your immunity, and your nervous system. Therefore, foot ulcers are very common in people with diabetes. But there are many things you can do to increase wound healing and decrease the risk of developing other complications. I have some information here on the computer that I can share with you to help prevent further complications with your feet. Well, it says there that I need to check my feet every day for changes, wear properly fitted shoes, and have my feet examined once a year by the doctor. Could you show me how to examine my feet every day for changes? And could you see if my shoes are fitted properly? I couldn't imagine having another ulcer on my feet. For sure. I can take a look at your shoes and teach you how to take care of your feet. We'll keep track of your progress in your electronic medical record and we'll review your status in our follow-up appointments. The fifth and final guiding principle is to invite the person or family member to view information on the computer screen. This might be information in their chart or pertinent educational resources. The computer is a great tool to supplement health teaching by sharing or printing pictures and other relevant material from credible internet sites. Electronic resources are also ideal for promoting the person's self-management of their health condition. This video presented five guiding principles to achieve patient and family-centered care when integrating an electronic medical record system into the health professional's daily practice, regardless of the sector or healthcare setting. Always greet the person and or their family and establish a therapeutic relationship with them before accessing the computer. Introduce the computer as a tool to assist in providing care. Inform the person or family member of the measures that are in place in your organization to maintain the privacy and confidentiality of their electronic medical record. Establish a connection between the person or family member and their electronic medical record by using terms such as your medical record or your chart as you interact with the computer. 
And lastly, invite the person or family to view information on the screen. We wish to thank Canada Health InfoWay for their generous funding to produce this video as part of the RNAO Nurse Peer Leader Project.